everybody, Ms. Wilson here. Today we're going to look at our AKS portfolio for 7D. It says, I can construct an explanation for how energy is transferred between particles and each type of energy transfer. So we're going to review conduction, convection, radiation really quickly. Remember, conduction is through direct contact or touching. Radiation is through empty space, okay, like sunshine, for example. And then convection is done through a current, okay? So heat rising and cool falling and making that circular current motion. And the very first thing on your sheet, it says, you are holding a cold plastic water bottle outside after soccer practice. You know that the water is heating up. Describe the changes in thermal energy of the particles during a specific example of heat transfer. Remember to discuss conduction, convection, and radiation. So I want to show you something really quick. Okay, so I'm going to show you a part of this video, um, and I've taken out the sound so I can talk you guys through it. But basically, we have a laptop on a field on a hot summer day. Okay, so we're going to get to the water bottle one in just a second, but just understand this one first, okay? So really hot laptop, and you can see the person is getting close to it. They're not touching it, okay? So this is not conduction yet. This is just radiation, right? It's radiating its way it's out of heat, and it's heating up the person's hand. They're going to end up touching it, and as soon as they have that direct contact, it becomes conduction. And I want you to see how the particles are moving, okay? So let's play it. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I really wanted you to see there is the laptop was hot. They even did it red, so you know it's hot, right? and the person's skin was cold, that's why it was like a blue color, and you saw that the particles in the hot object were moving fast, right? Hot particles will move quickly and rapidly, and the particles that were in the cold hand were barely moving, right? There wasn't a whole lot of motion going on there, but as soon as conduction happened and the person physically touched the laptop, the heat transfer through conduction took place. So the energy transferred from the hot object to the cold object, so from the laptop to the hand, and it made the particles um, heat up and start moving more rapidly, just like the ones in the laptop. What I want you to notice, the particles themselves did not move into the person's hand, okay? The particles are, are what make up the laptop, that's the matter, okay? So we do not move the particles, we just move the energy, all right? Let me show you one more. Okay, so here's the last little clip I wanna show you guys. This is the water bottle example. So here we have a person holding a water bottle on a hot summer day, and you can see what's going to happen. So watch for the coloring, here we go. So we see there is darkening, representing that it's warming up and spreading throughout the water. Okay, so let me show you guys this. So what was really happening is the heat from the sun was radiating onto the water bottle. So there was radiation happening there. There was also conduction. The person holding the cup is in direct contact and we do have body heat, right? So that body heat was warming up the water as well. But through radiation and conduction, the water closest to those hot spots around your hand, right? It's going to be the hottest spots. The radiation would help too, but definitely around your hand would, would be the most um, hot in the whole bottle. And that's going to slowly start to spread. And that's what you saw in the video. And that spreading of warmer to colder creates a convection current within that water bottle and it will eventually reach what's called equilibrium. That's when the entire water bottle becomes the same temperature, okay? 